G'day folks, what is going on? It's Jacob coming at you with another video. I'm just, uh, I'm wrapping up my trip to Sydney. Um, came down here for a few days to catch up with Jamie, one of the guys I do some work with. He helps me run a program called the Super Affiliate Accelerator. Um, so we got a bit of work done, caught up. He's also one of my like original um, students. So it's always good to catch up and uh, you know meet up in person. And uh, so I'm just wrapping up here. Wanted to film a quick video before I get back on, on the road um, at the end of my trip. Thought I'd show you guys this. I don't know if you can see it out the window, but uh, pretty cool view. That's the, that's the Sydney Opera House down here. Pretty, pretty famous kind of landmark here in, uh, here in Australia. But um, just get the camera set up on the table. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that Jamie and I were actually discussing yesterday as we were getting a bit of work done and um, we were talking a little bit about my business and a bit about his business, what we've, what we've got going on. And uh, a lot of that was around structure right around structuring up a, an information business and the things that we'd learned that we we like and we don't like and and what you feel you you need and don't need and what you should have and shouldn't have and all that kind of stuff right like there's a million ways that you can do this game of running a personal brand and selling information products okay so that could be courses coaching consulting affiliate products right you do promos of other people's stuff it's all the same right all selling information and your personal brand is ultimately what sits behind it. And I was talking to him about my views on all this and it's something I've had a fair bit of clarity on lately, um, especially over the last kind of 12 to 18 months, my my own business has undergone a lot of kind of redevelopment and restructuring. And um, I was talking to him about it and, and I said, from my research and experimentation, in my opinion, there's three critical things that folks who want a personal brand right, that sells information need to aim to integrate in time, right? I'm not gonna say that it has to happen today because that's not realistic and you need to build these things in layers. But to, to give people like a North Star to work towards, in my opinion, you need to aim to have these three things in place um, if you want longevity and, and long-term success in this game. So I thought I'd just do a quick video with you all and talk you through those three things. You might have some of these already. You might have thought about these, but not pulled the trigger. Um, so I just want to share you my opinion on these, on these, and then, and then you can think about how you want to go and, uh, go and integrate them. All right. So the very, very first one, um, is the, uh, is your lead flow and your, and your traffic sources, right? It's, an interesting field where people debate a lot about like organic versus paid, what's this method's best, get on TikTok, get on Facebook, get on YouTube, all these kind of things, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of debate. Okay. And and I'm not here to say which platform is better than the other, but at a at a fundamental principle level in your business, if you want longevity in time, the one thing that you must do with your traffic sources and with your lead flow sources is diversify them. Okay. So like for example, we we run programs that help people get started from scratch and we just focus on Facebook, right? And that's great for getting started and getting rolling to that kind of 10 to 15 to 20K a month mark. But in time, you are going to want to add more traffic sources. The reason for that is because if you build a business um, over multiple years and you never diversify off and then something happens on that platform, right? Be that a change in the strategies that you're using in terms of what you can actually do or your account gets shut down or you lose your group or whatever, you can take a massive, massive hit to your business. So even if being slightly more focused for the long term on one platform might yield you slightly higher financial returns, I view the the lead flow diversification and, and adding multiple traffic sources, I view that as a, um, as a risk management strategy. And I recommend my clients do that um, as well. We've got a lot of clients who, for example, combine Facebook and TikTok and they use TikTok to grow their Facebook group. So they've got, they've got diversification there. We've got some clients who combine Facebook and YouTube. That's what, that's what we do a lot of. They do word of mouth. There's, there's different, there's different strategies, but the goal is ultimately, in my opinion, to have the leads that are coming into your business every day be diversified, okay? And that can include being diversified between organic and paid if you wanna go down that path. We do a lot of organic, but we do run a bit of paid stuff as well to kind of put fuel on the fire, right? It helps compound the stuff that we're already doing. We've got the entire back end of the business set up, right? Which I'm gonna talk about in a second. And running paid traffic can just put more people into that world and then they kind of just pick up what we're already doing, right? So that's the very, very first thing out of these three, you need to be looking to build towards having multiple lead sources in my opinion, okay? Like I said, 
maybe being focused on one would be the better finance, like raw financial profit approach, but it's higher, higher, higher risk, much higher risk. You've got that concentration platform risk. If, if your platform goes down, you lose your account, you lose your group, whatever, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay. So that's the first one. And this is, and, and, and if you look at all the big players out there, right, especially in the internet marketing game, they've all got lead flow diversification. They've got word of mouth, they've got paid, they've got organic, they've got video, they've got, um, they've got podcasts, they've got written, all that kind of stuff. They've got multiple lead flow sources all pointing back towards them and their personal brand, okay? And that leads me on to the second point, which is what you do with all of that traffic and where you put all of those people, okay? So the second thing that I would recommend that you do is consolidate all of that traffic, all the different sources that you're building up over time, consolidate that all down to one or two, what I call key nurturing hubs. Okay. So a key nurturing hub for me is a place that I can stay in touch with the people that are in my world and follow along with my stuff every day, or at least very, 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 very frequently. Okay. So as I'm filming this in my business, there's two main places we do that. One is my email list and two is our Facebook group. Okay, those go hand in hand really nicely. And again, from looking at all the big players, they have these places, communities, lists, all these kind of things. They have these places where they can stay in touch with the folks that are following them, right? So those first ones we we're talking about are more about attracting new people. This is where we're talking about communicating with the people who have made a decision to be in your world because they've opted into an email list, they've joined a group, they've taken that step, right? Maybe they've even filled out some kind of survey, maybe they've bought a low ticket product at this point, but they're in your world and you need to communicate with them very, very frequently in order to maintain and grow that relationship, okay? A little bit of a bonus tip here around um, how you do that. If you are gonna have multiple hubs, what I would recommend that you do is on the front end, you capture data that you will own, okay? So if you look at my business, for example, we run all of our traffic to my website where we get the email first, then we push people to the Facebook group, okay? Again, we could probably get more people in the Facebook group if we let out with it, but I don't own the Facebook group. It's made us a lot of money, it's done very well, but you can see how these strategies are around mitigating risk. So I'll happily take the slight dilution of going email to Facebook group for knowing that I am owning that data first and foremost, and I can carry that with me. Okay, so if you're building out these different nurturing hubs, which is that second thing that you really, really need, a place to stay in touch with people really frequently, put the thing that you're going to own, which is nine times out of 10 gonna be an email list, um, on the front end would be my piece of advice. Then move them to the other places in your ecosystem that you wanna stay in touch with them frequently, right? So for example, folks will enter their email, right? Maybe you've done that already, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, first link in the description, check it out, you'll get a really, really cool video that'll help you out with your offer creation so that uh, you'd come into my world, you'd join my email list, then I'm gonna recommend that you join the Facebook group, right? And a lot of people that join our Facebook group end up following me on Facebook as well, like my profile. They become a follower, we become friends, whatever, right? Then, from my business perspective, I've now got three touch points that we can stay in touch every single day. Email, group, profile, okay? And that's how we continue to grow our relationship. That's how people get to know me better than they can decide if it's something that they wanna buy or not, okay? So that's the second big thing, is those nurturing hubs off all of that diversified traffic on the front end, consolidate it, and then get people into these nurturing hubs where you can stay in touch with them every single day. All right, the third one, we're gonna jump a little bit to the end. There's a bit of stuff in between, but these I'm just wanted to talk you through the three big pillars in my opinion. The third one is some type of, like I've got my inner circle, a private client group, a mastermind. It's, it's, it's a, a little group of people right? A small group of people, not, not like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. You can have programs like that along the way, right? But as a third core pillar, when I analyze a lot of the big players and, and have had success with this myself, I think everybody that runs a, a personal brand, sells information, should have a little group of people that they work with, right? That's a higher, higher ticket and integrates high ticket continuity into your business. That's from a cash flow perspective. It builds up that baseline that means that you're not starting every month from zero. Okay, so you can see all three of these have a risk a risk mitigation component to them, right? And really trying to build strength and longevity in the business for the long term. We're diversifying lead flows to reduce risk around platform like concentration. We are capturing emails first and having multiple places where we can stay in touch with people. Okay, again, diversifying communication 
And then third, I want you building up a small group of people. And, and I don't care if you're getting started from scratch, I don't care if it's 500 bucks a year. You don't have to jump to it being 50,000 a year, right? It can cut that the pricing can come in time. It's about the structure and the fundamentals and the principle. Okay. In time, you'll want to get it to a point where it's 10, 15, 20, 30,000 plus a year. And you're starting to rack up that thousand dollar a month, $1,500 a month, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month payments because you build up that cash flow baseline. And aside from the finances, I can tell you firsthand from experience, having a small group of people that you get to work closely with is one of the most rewarding things that you'll do, right? Like I've got a small group with my inner circle people. We've got a small private chat. We meet every week. We come together on the calls. We talk about their wins. We talk about what they're, what they're enjoying, what they're not enjoying. We, we help each other and overcome challenges. I deliver trainings to them based on stuff that I'm seeing in the market, based on their questions. And they get to, they get to pick my brain around the clock um, about my experience selling you know, millions of dollars of worth of information products at this point. So they get the benefit of that. Right, and I love it having that small group of people who are heavily filtered. Right, a lot of this comes down to right types of personality, right point in their business to make sure it's beneficial, all those kind of things. But having that small group of people has been one of the best things that I've ever done. Okay, so if we think about this along a along a spectrum, right, there are either other bits and pieces in between. But for me, with my own experience and from looking at the market, looking at a lot of the big players and figuring out what what do you really need to have in this game and what what's necessary, what's not. Um, what's important to longevity, all those kind of things. For me, they're the big three, right? They're the big, big, big three that I want you all building towards if you want to be in this game long-term. Diversified lead flow, okay? Those nurturing hubs where you can stay in touch with people every single day. And I want you leading with the thing that's going to allow you to own the data, aka email, nine times out of 10. And then I want you building a small group of people that you work with closely. That's not to say you can't have other offers, but at the top of your offer stack, I want you building something where you work closely with people and you aim to ultimately include high ticket continuity in your business. Okay, you're gonna love it. It's a lot of fun working with a small group of the right people and you're gonna love what it does for the cash flow profile of your business as you keep building up that recurring baseline and it stacks up pretty quickly when it's, uh, when it's high ticket continuity. Okay, so hopefully you got something out of that. This isn't just just fluff and theory, guys. This is this is from being in the trenches for years and years and years at this point. I've tried a lot of different things. I've run high volume, I've run lower volume, and I'm just giving you guys my firsthand experience from, from doing this and uh, from doing a lot right, but doing a lot wrong along the way as well. For me, those things are critical. They've been amazing for my own stress levels by focusing on that risk mitigation approach to these strategies. And that's where these big three come from. Okay, so hopefully you got something out of this. I'm going to uh, I'm going to head out, go for a wander. It's a beautiful day outside. You guys can see sun shining, right? I'm going to go for a wander down around the down around the harbour, get a bit of food, a bit of lunch, and uh, get sorted before getting back on a plane, heading back to the Gold Coast. The so next time you see me, I'll probably be back home. I've got another trip coming up too. I'm heading down to Melbourne next weekend. We're actually going out to the snow, which is going to be cool. So I might film some. Uh, videos out that way and you guys can come along with me um if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel probably should have said this at the start but whatever we're rolling give this video a like if you get any value from it be sure to check out that first link in the description breaks down an offer that i uh, created that did 45k in 11 days i know you're going to get a ton of value from it i got full kind of open kimono you can you can see everything in terms of the uh in terms of the, the offer and, and, and everything that's in there, you'll be able to learn a lot. A lot of people have taken that video and, and taken some ideas from it and made, made a lot of money without paying me. Okay, join our Facebook group, join the email list, all that kind of stuff if you'd like to stay in touch. I appreciate you all. Have a fantastic day.